Hey, what up? It's me. Did you miss me? Yeah, I kind of disappeared off YouTube for a little bit. Um, I didn't post anything. I didn't post any animation videos. Didn't post any videos with me in them. Uh, it was just Radio Silence. Unless you followed me on Twitter. I'm back now. Uh, just dropped a 35 minute uh, funny Go motion video getting group passes video, uh, which I worked pretty hard on. I'm pretty proud of it actually. So yeah, um, you should go check that out after this one. Uh, a lot of work has put into it. I had a lot of help from Toaster Bath Bombs, who did a lot for some of the visuals, who also made the new character stills you're looking at. Hey, I don't look like a gender bent go motion anymore. I actually look like what I actually look like. Um, which was part of the reason why I wanted to change these because a lot of people just thought this was female go motion like a female version of the fictional character, but it's not. It was just a really weird decision on my part to make myself look like him at all. But no, this is actually more closer to what I actually look like. Also, these new characters still just look better. Um, if anything, my hair doesn't look past the yellow and the rest of me isn't totally saturated. So, hey, that's good. Um, the colors are nice and it, they, they, they look good. Yeah. Anyway, hey, Q&A time. Uh, before I begin though, uh, the Gunmush and Plushie uh, is a thing that exists, and it's not going to be made unless 400 orders are reached. So, uh, you know, you should definitely go get one. Uh, there's only a limited time before the campaign ends, so you should go grab a Gomi while you still got time to. Um, and you definitely should. He is a fluffy boy. He is the best. Uh, here's my son. I'm gonna answer questions now, I haven't done this in about five years. Also, why is this a spooky Q&A? Because Halloween, here's a pumpkin, sort of. How do you decide to start doing fan game reviews? Was it influenced or just an out of the blue thought? There's actually uh, a bit of a story behind this. Uh, when I was like 14 or something, I was watching uh, one of Dorco's charity live streams, and he mentions to one of his guests that he had a voice that would be really good for something like fan game reviews. And I took that and just started doing them. But that live stream was in about late 2016 and my first fan game review was in 2017. And I didn't really start pushing them out until I came back to YouTube uh, in December last year with the Five Nights Country Remastered review. And I guess it just went from there. Do you fart and is it chunky and hard? This is such a great Q&A. Thank you, Gory. What's your favorite pizza topping? Leather. Does Gomo like dino nuggets? Hell yeah. How do you feel about binaural beats? Uh, Pablo Thinghouse, I'm going to binaural beat you into an alleyway until you learn to spell animatronic. What's your favorite game soundtrack? Uh, this is kind of a fluid thing for me. Uh, at the moment, I am really, really into the Undertale and Deltarune soundtracks. Um, but I th kind of think that Deltarune's kind of uh, growing on me a bit more. And I feel like as the chapters release, it's going to, you know, it's going to possibly grow to be a soundtrack that I like even more than the Undertale soundtrack. But aside from that, a lot of the music that I put into the Go Mission videos are just songs from game soundtracks that I listen to anyway. Uh, like the first Spyro game, the Portal games, uh, a lot of classic Sonic. I like kind of sound fonty stuff. Uh, I've always been that way. Like I'm massively into the Earthbound soundtrack, and and that's why there are specific songs in the Undertale and Delta Rune soundtracks which I'm pretty big into. But yeah, it's a bit of a variety for me. With your recent art journey, how much fun do you have doing it? Yeah, I kind of got back into drawing, and it is very fun. Um, I've been doing some stuff for the channel even. Um, and I feel like I'm kind of getting better. Uh, I've been drawing a lot of Delta and stuff, uh, because, again, I'm still into Delta and at the moment. But yeah, I'm kind of messing with different styles, trying to develop my own core style. Um, yeah, it's going well. It's, it's fun. Drawing, drawing's like fun. It's chill. It's zen. Uh, yeah. FNAF? Oh, guys, this is, uh, this is Mr. Meatball. Um, they, they're actually a really good, uh, artist on Twitter that, um, I'm mutuals with. Um, they make some really cool stuff, you should totally go check them out. Here's an example right here, look, it's... It's Amigo. What animals do you like? I like this animal. This one's really cool. What's your favorite Gangster Paradise lyric? The one where he says, Gangster's Paradise. That's a pretty good lyric. How did you get your name, both name and username? I got my name through looking at a list of the best names on planet Earth, and just picking the best one. And it, was, and it was dirty, it was right there. I got my username from something I used to do as a kid a lot, which was stop motion videos. I would take Lego, little Lego guys, I'd make uh, little stop motion Lego videos. Then I attempted to make a channel called Stop Motion 100, but it was taken, uh, so Go Motion 100. And then in mid-2015, I think I changed it to Go Motion. Yeah, it's not that exciting, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you so cool? I ask myself that every day. How did you get into FNAF in the first place? Uh, by watching YouTube as a 12-year-old. Just kind of spiral from there. What is it like knowing people want to see more of what you make? 
It is a little weird because I kind of don't know what I want to make a lot of the time. I just kind of go from whatever I'm into at the moment. But yeah, it's always nice to know that there are people who are subscribed to me that, you know, will watch anything I put out. Uh, as long as it's entertaining, because I know a lot of people are subscribed for FNAF, because, you know, that's what I make a lot of. But there's stuff that I make that's not FNAF, you know, like the video game creepypastas video that I just made. Um, I want to do more stuff like that, you know, I don't want to be just restricted by FNAF. But yeah, that video seems to be doing pretty well, so yeah, it, it kind of makes me happy. For every YouTube video, uh, this is almost completely unironic, it is this video. I love it to death. It is, it is one of the best videos on YouTube, in my opinion. Please watch it, please. What you like on pizza? Q-tips. Do you have any tips for improving artistic ability? I really like your art style. First off, thank you. Second off, just draw. Just keep drawing. Uh, you'll pick up kind of like little things and little, uh, you know, techniques that over time you'll kind of build up and improve on subconsciously. Um, and I know this from experience. Um, and it is incredibly annoying to know in the beginning because it kind of feels a bit overwhelming, but it'll come naturally. It really will. Um, honestly, I don't know how I make some of the stuff I make sometimes, uh, because it looks better than what I expect myself to make, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I just say keep drawing. Uh, just make funny little doodles, just make funny little uh, experiments, little exercises even. It doesn't have to be anything like massive. Just uh, just draw whatever makes you happy. I've been drawing myself as different Delta and characters, for example, and I've just been learning how to do like clothing wrinkles and stuff, you know. Just little things like that. It really builds up and kind of makes your outlook good, I think. Who is your favorite FNAF character? If we're going by designs, probably Withered Bonnie. I love him. He's great. He's awesome. What is your favorite game console and game on that console? Well, I don't necessarily have any favorite games. I am kind of into the older generation consoles, you know, anything from the NES to SNES to N64 era, or that kind of thing. I love games with limitations because it, you know, because it's full of games with developers pushing the hardware as much as they can to make, you know, something cool. And that's something I both really appreciate and something that really intrigues me. I am massively into that kind of thing. Is Fredbear's Lament the Earth's greatest creation? Yes. How does it feel to have so many people watching your content? Like 250k is a lot of people. I know, and it scares me. A lot of the time I kind of feel a little pressured to, you know, keep uploads going. Uh, which hasn't been going so well because I haven't posted anything for months really. Um, but I know that if this video is doing well already, and I still haven't, you know, been around for that long recently, then I guess I kind of don't have much to worry about in that regard, um, because, you know, I am planning to put more content out as well. Like, after this q and I'm gonna put out a fan game review pretty quickly. It's a little surreal, like, I never thought I'd actually get to 250,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. Um, but it's humbling. It's like nice that people actually want to watch my dumb stuff. Best kind of sandwich to eat? Uh, tuna mayo. Thoughts on the Security Breach trailer and Fazbear Fanverse? Holy shit. <laughs> Security Breach looks genuinely really good. I really loved that trailer. It did such a good job of keeping a lot of things hidden, but giving us just enough for intrigue and theories and stuff. Um, in terms of Fazbear Fanverse stuff, I think that's pretty awesome. I <laughs> it's something I don't think anyone genuinely saw coming. Um, and of course, of all people to ever do this, it would be Scott Cawthon. Basically, for those who don't know, Fazbear Fanverse is Scott taking a lot of the biggest FNAF fan games and, like, selling them officially on consoles and stuff. And it's really, really awesome. You know, some of them might get merch as well. It's a super incredible opportunity for people who, at the time, just wanted to make fan games just for the sake of making fan games, because they're fun and there's a whole community aspect and stuff. Um, it's super awesome to see Scott, like, giving back to the community in this way. How excited are you for Delta in Chapter 2 and any predictions? Yes, I do have predictions. I 100% think Gaster is going to be involved in some way. Um, I also think that the name of the game, Deltarune, being an anagram of Undertale is not just a cute little thing. I kind of feel like the idea behind having kind of an alternate universe correlates with how the letters in the title of Deltarune are just kind of rearranged letters of Undertale, if that makes sense. Like, the letters of the game are rearranged, the characters are rearranged, the world is a little rearranged, it's all kind of the same, but at the same time it's all a little different, you know? And I feel like while Deltarune definitely doesn't take place in the exact same universe as Undertale, I think, canonically, they are both very much related in some way, and we are gonna see that kind of thing unfold in the later chapters. Also, I think things are gonna get a lot darker than what's being led on. I feel like there is a lot of Deltarune that we do not know anything about yet. 
Um, there's a lot to discuss. I'm very excited. This is not the place for it. Funny Q and A, but yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> what is your favorite FNAF song? Uh, have you guys heard of Tycoon Takeover? You should. What other content creators do you want to collab with? Honestly, I don't mind. Twitter mutuals, hit me up. <laughs> do you like Among Us? It is one of the most chaotic games I've played in a long time. I absolutely love it. <laughs> What's up with Gomotion Guy's eyes? He looks like Tom from Ed's World. That is a good point. Uh, maybe you should ask Gomotion. And finally, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you be interested in turning into an incomprehensible mass of flesh that corrupts the minds of the youth with your silent yet deafening screams? I don't need to turn into an incomprehensible mass of flesh to corrupt the minds of the youth. Why do you think I created Gomotion? He does that for me. Oh, wow. Wow. What a Q&A. What a great time that was, answering questions. So I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of that. Um, I don't know, I just thought it'd be a fun little thing to do in between videos. And you know what, I hope you guys got a kick out of it. So anyway, yeah, uh, new videos coming soon. Check out the Gomish and Plushy. Check out my Twitter. Check out everything. Just, just check out everything. Who wouldn't? Anyway, I'm gonna go force Gomotion to make a fan game review or something. Yeah, it's just how it be. See ya.